psychology facts about human behavior that will blow your mind. Did you know that your penis needs regular exercise to stay in shape? According to Tobias Kohler, MD, the assistant professor of urology at Southern Illinois University School of Medicine, the smooth muscle of the penis must be periodically enriched with oxygen by the rush of blood that engorges it and makes it erect. This process is crucial for maintaining a healthy tone. If you don't have erections during the day, perhaps due to being in unarousing circumstances, don't worry. Your brain has an automatic maintenance function built in. During the REM phase of sleep, impulses from the brain cause erections, regardless of the dream's content. However, for men physically unable to get erections, such as those with nerve damage or diabetes, regular erections are essential to prevent the penis from shrinking and losing elasticity. Without them, the penis can shrink by 1 to 2 cm. Using devices like vacuum pumps can help maintain penile health by forcing the penis to swell with blood. Not all penises behave the same way when they become erect. Some are growers significantly increasing in length, while others are showers which don't change much. The study of 80 men found that the increases in length from flaccid to erect varied widely, with some penises growing less than half an inch and others over 3.5 inches. Alfred Kinsey's research showed that shorter flaccid penises tend to gain more length compared to longer flaccid penises. These terms, though not medically recognized, highlight the variability in how penises respond to arousal. Where is the most sensitive part of your penis? Many men would say it's the underside of the gland's head and the underside of the shaft. A study involving 81 healthy men asked them to rate the sensitivity of different body areas. The underside of the glands and shaft had the highest sensitivity ratings, followed by other parts of the penis, scrotum, anus, nipples, and neck. These findings were reported in the British Journal of Urology International in 2009. It's a fact penile sensitivity decreases with age. Studies have shown that from age 25 onward, sensitivity starts to decline, with the most significant drop occurring between ages 65 and 75. This is measured by the least amount of stimulation a man can feel, known as the sensory threshold. Despite this decline, many men don't notice a significant change in their sensitivity. Instead, they are more likely to report issues with erections and ejaculation. Vibrators aren't just for women, they can be incredibly effective for men too. Vibration can help men with ejaculation problems, including those with spinal cord injuries. Medical vibrators can assist in achieving ejaculation by stimulating the underside of the glands. For those without medical issues, regular store-bought vibrators can also enhance sexual pleasure and help with delayed ejaculation. In some extraordinary cases, men have demonstrated impressive feats of ejaculation. For example, the record for the farthest ejaculation is held by Horst Schultz, who ejaculated 18.7 feet 5.71 meters. Additionally, men have achieved multiple orgasms in short periods, like the individual who had six orgasms within 36 minutes. During World War I, British intelligence used semen as invisible ink, though they eventually stopped due to the odor. In ancient Greece, oral sex was referred to as playing the flute. The average erect penis length worldwide is around 5.1 to 5.5 inches. Men report masturbating approximately 12 times a month. The U.S. ranks 18th globally in terms of average erect penis length. Remember, maintaining a healthy penis involves regular erections, understanding your body's unique characteristics, and exploring various methods to enhance pleasure. Whether you're a grower or a shower, staying informed can help you maintain penile health and improve your sexual experiences. Despite common insecurities, most men are within the average range when it comes to penis size. Studies show that the average erect penis is between 5.1 and 5.5 inches long, while the average flaccid penis is about 3.6 inches. Interestingly, 85% of women are satisfied with their partner's penis size, although only 55% of men feel the same about their own size. This discrepancy highlights the psychological impact of societal standards and personal insecurities. Throughout history, Perceptions of the penis have varied widely across cultures. In ancient Rome, large penises were often depicted on statues and artifacts as symbols of power and fertility. Conversely, in medieval Europe, smaller penises were sometimes seen as a sign of intellect and rationality. 
These historical perceptions have shaped modern attitudes towards penis size and masculinity. Regular sexual activity has significant health benefits for men. Having sex at least once a week can reduce a man's risk of heart disease by 30%, stroke by 50%, and diabetes by 40%. Regular sexual activity also promotes mental health, reducing stress and enhancing overall well-being. This connection between sexual health and general health underscores the importance of maintaining a healthy sex life. There are many myths about the penis that persist despite scientific evidence. For instance, the idea that penis size can be determined by other body parts, such as hands or feet, is completely unfounded. Another common myth is that circumcision significantly reduces sexual pleasure. While circumcision does change the sensitivity of the penis, Many studies suggest that it does not drastically impact overall sexual satisfaction. The penis has some unique features that distinguish it from other organs. For example, it contains a tissue called the corpus cavernosum, which fills with blood to create an erection. This tissue is unique in its ability to expand and harden quickly. Additionally, the penis is one of the few organs in the body that doesn't have a bone, unlike some other mammals that have a penile bone called a baculum. Maintaining prostate health is crucial for overall sexual health. The prostate gland plays a key role in producing seminal fluid, and its health can directly impact sexual function. Regular ejaculation, whether through sex or masturbation, has been shown to reduce the risk of prostate cancer. This highlights the importance of regular sexual activity for long-term health. As men age, changes in sexual function are common but manageable. While erectile dysfunction becomes more prevalent with age, many effective treatments are available, ranging from medication to lifestyle changes. Staying physically active, maintaining a healthy diet, and managing stress can all help preserve sexual function as men age. Testosterone, the primary male sex hormone, is crucial for maintaining libido, muscle mass, and overall energy levels. Low testosterone can lead to decreased sexual desire and erectile dysfunction. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, and adequate sleep can help maintain healthy testosterone levels. In some cases, hormone replacement therapy may be necessary to address significant deficiencies. Mental health is deeply connected to sexual health. Stress, anxiety, and depression can all negatively impact erectile function and overall sexual satisfaction. Seeking therapy, practicing mindfulness, and an engaging and regular physical activity can help manage mental health issues and improve sexual function. Communication with a partner is also key to maintaining a healthy and satisfying sex life. Exploring different sexual activities and techniques can enhance sexual satisfaction and maintain interest. Trying new positions, incorporating toys, and experimenting with different forms of stimulation can add excitement to a sexual relationship. The open communication with a partner about desires and boundaries is essential for a fulfilling sex life. Orgasms are complex physiological and psychological events. For men, they involve a series of muscle contractions and the release of neurotransmitters like oxytocin and dopamine. These chemicals contribute to feelings of pleasure and satisfaction. Understanding the science behind orgasms can help individuals enhance their sexual experiences and achieve greater satisfaction. Healthy sexual relationships are built on communication, trust, and mutual satisfaction. Addressing any sexual health issues with a partner can strengthen the relationship and improve overall intimacy. Seeking medical advice for persistent problems and being open to trying new solutions can lead to a more fulfilling sexual relationship. Did you know that during sexual intercourse, in addition to the genitals and breasts, the inner nose also swells? or that the average female orgasm lasts 20 seconds, which is 14 seconds longer than the average male orgasm. And for a final fun fact, humans, bonobos, a type of chimp, and dolphins are the only animals known to have sex for pleasure. What you eat can significantly impact your sexual health. Diets rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can improve blood circulation, including to the penis, which is essential for maintaining erections. Foods high in antioxidants, such as berries and leafy greens, help protect the blood vessels and improve overall cardiovascular health. Omega-3 fatty acids found in fish and nuts also support healthy blood flow and hormone production. Avoiding excessive alcohol, processed foods, and trans fats can prevent conditions that impair sexual function, such as obesity and high cholesterol. Regular physical activity is crucial for maintaining penile health. 
exercise helps improve cardiovascular health, which is vital for robust blood flow to the penis. Activities such as aerobic exercise, strength training, and even yoga can enhance erectile function by reducing stress, improving mood, and boosting overall energy levels. Pelvic floor exercises like Kegels can also strengthen the muscles involved in erection and ejaculation, leading to improved control and sexual performance. Contrary to popular belief, penis size does not directly correlate with fertility. Fertility is more influenced by factors such as sperm count, motility, and overall reproductive health. Men concerned about their fertility should focus on maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, and avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. Regular checkups with a healthcare provider can also help monitor and manage any potential fertility issues. The penis has a high concentration of nerve endings, making it highly sensitive to touch. Different types of stimulation, such as manual, oral, or mechanical using sex toys, can provide varied and enjoyable sensations. Understanding personal preferences and communicating them with a partner can enhance sexual experiences. Experimenting with different types of stimulation, pressures, and techniques can help discover what feels best and promote mutual satisfaction in a sexual relationship. Masturbation is a normal and healthy sexual activity that can provide various benefits, including stress relief, better sleep, and improved mood. Despite persistent myths, masturbation does not cause physical harm, such as blindness or infertility. It can also help individuals explore their sexual preferences and improve sexual function by reducing performance anxiety. Understanding and dispelling these myths can help promote a healthier attitude toward masturbation. According to condom manufacturers, only 6% of men worldwide need an extra-large-sized condom. The human penis is larger than that of any other primate, both proportionally to body size and in absolute terms. There are two types of penises growers which expand and lengthen when erect and showers, which look large most of the time but don't get much bigger after an erection. Approximately 79% of men are growers, while 21% are showers. King Fetty of Tonga is rumored to have had the most sexual partners, allegedly deflowering 37,800 women from 1,770 to 1784. Iceland is home to a unique museum dedicated entirely to penises, known as the Icelandic Phallological Museum. The average erect penis size ranges between 5 to 6 inches, with a flaccid penis measuring around 3 to 3.5 inches. Smoking can shorten the penis by up to a centimeter due to the calcification of blood vessels, which impedes erectile function. Men who have been hanged often experience a post-mortem erection, known as angel lust throughout their lifetime. Men will ejaculate an average of 7,200 times, with about 2,000 of these ejaculations occurring through masturbation. The average speed of ejaculation is 28 mph. Women generally prefer larger penises, but not excessively large ones. Larger penises were found to be more attractive on taller men with narrow hips and broad shoulders. Women who orgasm through vaginal stimulation are often pickier about penis size. The smallest natural human penis ever recorded was just five-eighths of an inch. The signal to ejaculate comes from the spinal cord rather than the brain. Men often report that the underside of the glands and shaft of the penis is the most sensitive to sexual pleasure. Vibrators are not only for vaginas, they can help men with spinal cord injuries ejaculate by stimulating the underside of the penis head. Half of the penis is actually inside the body, attached to the pubic bone, making its total length almost double what is visible. The average healthy man produces approximately 300 million sperm in just a teaspoon of semen. Surprisingly, many people under 35 check their Facebook or Twitter accounts right after sex, with 36% admitting to this habit. Contrary to popular belief, men do not have sex more often than women. Studies show women have sex 177% more often than the average man. Women's orgasms tend to last longer, around 20 seconds, compared to the male's 6-second orgasm. Orgasms can lower a woman's risk of heart disease, stroke, breast cancer, and even depression. Exposure to semen has been shown to reduce symptoms of depression due to its content of over 200 proteins and several vitamins and minerals. Meanwhile, 12% of moms admitted to using their cell phones during sex, and about 71% of American teenagers have had sex by age 19. There are two types of penises circumcised and uncircumcised. Circumcised penises have undergone circumcision, 
a surgical procedure where the foreskin covering the head of the penis is removed. This practice can be rooted in various cultural, religious, or medical reasons. Uncircumcised penises retain their foreskin, which is a sheath of skin that covers the head glands of the penis. Proper hygiene is important for individuals with an uncircumcised penis to prevent infections and other complications. To have a healthy penis, you must maintain a balanced diet, exercise regularly, practice safe sex, and ensure proper hygiene. A healthy lifestyle contributes not only to your overall well-being, but also to your sexual health. Remember, a healthy penis contributes to a healthier, happier you. Like, comment, and subscribe for more from the wisdom of psychology.